Test, testing, oh shit, testing one. Testing two. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in the built-in microphone, so it's not even in our mics. Oh. Frick! Shoot. Alright, now let's go two mics. Okay. We can go two mic. Two mic Millie. Millie mock mic on this Billy Brock. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, oh, hello podcast there. number 12. 12, 12, 12. 12. 12. Yeah, we don't like 12. Yeah, I was going to say, 12 uh, is kind of a uh, sensitive a, number. A controversial right now. number right now. <laughs> uh, not for us, though. It's very good. No, it's, it's an a, amazing it's, sign. It's a good sign for the AVGP family. AVGP Studios number 12. Mm -hmm. 12 episodes in the bunker. Are we still, I'm going to say, are we still in the bunker? Or have, we, have we emerged yet? I think yet? we emerged to protest and <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think we had to step okay, out. Yeah, I like that. We stepped out of the bunker to uh, protest and that Black Lives we Matter. We had to give a little discussion. A little, <laughs> a, uh, a Decided to come meeting. out and hang out at the courthouse when everybody <laughs> else was. The town square. I actually wasn't there. I kind of felt bad for that. I had to work all day. I also had to work. Yeah. So I, was, I worked like I 8 to 4 it was a pretty good turnout, though. Yeah. I saw pictures and stuff. Yeah. I haven't and seen And it was a great yet. turnout. That's There's cool. so many people there, which is really, uh, it was really nice for me to see. I like yeah. seeing that. Sometimes it's easy to think of like small town, Midwest, rural, rural places rural. being like the, that's where the, the, breadcrumbs of racism still exist yeah so it's kind of nice for me to be like yeah there's there's a lot of good people here what are you doing dude so, there's a stanley hair on your sock mike my nose was on my my your james nose, nose was almost touched be tickled this, by stanley, stanley hair. hair and it's fresh out the dresser too like dang dude he's climbing on the dresser everywhere he like, likes yoshi we're rocking the yoshi oh yeah we got uh, new new mike socks today mm -hmm. since we're uh today is the day that we give away the uh the famed the nike famous. mike socks Sock mics. Sock mics. Sock mics. I keep like mixing them up. Mic socks. Mic sock socks. Mic. Sock mics. It doesn't whatever. It's the socks that it's we put on our mics. So on the mic. So the peas don't pop very much. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. That really pretty. <laughs> Maybe one, maybe one day I'll have some. <laughs> maybe one day I'll have some like real mic protectors, like a yeah, pop filter. Like the foams. That's the that's styrofoam. for later. Like when we do video, right? I'll have a pop. That's filter. when, yeah. For right now, it's gonna look as grungy as it can because we can get away with it. But yeah, once exactly. we have to show you guys what this looks like, <laughs> yeah. we'll we'll clean it all up real quick. It's gonna be cleaned up. You guys won't have to it's see. It's like just before the... people, you know, come into your room or come over to your house. Yeah. Where it's like the day before. It's still crappy, but like an the hour before, before they come yeah, over. You yeah, clean it up really quick. And you just make it look spotless. Make it look nice. So I have to do today. We have a showing today of the house that we're trying to sell. We're gonna show the house. Showing it to someone. This is our house. Uh, you should market it with, like, in-bedroom studio. Like, <laughs> yes. One, one studio. They could, like, knock up the value, like, up, like, 20 grand, 20 I grand. feel like. I was, yeah, I was AVGP 10, Studios. Yeah, 20 grand. The first Slap AVGP. AVGP on yeah. <laughs> Dude, I want that so bad. <laughs> Someone's itching to buy it. Oh, God. I need this. Um. So, today we have, we got eight entries. Mm-hmm. Into the well, we have more, but some of them were like some of them. We figured it would be it would be kind of unfair. Unfair. Yeah. Sorry, Chad. Got it. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry, Chadwick. Chadwick. James's father. We just felt like that would be kind of. Uh, I would just take the socks home with me. Yeah, exactly. So and they would just they'd be just James's socks. It'd basically, be my socks. Yeah. And so then. I feel like that'd be kind of unfair. I was gonna say something. I forget. I was gonna say. Oh, um, about the protest. Mm -hmm. Um, the oh, peaceful yeah. protest here in Peru. Yeah, yeah. I know my a couple of my friends were there, mm -hmm. and um, they had a guy pull up in a blue truck, and was like was flipping everybody off and screaming at them, yeah. and just like trying to cause some shit. Gotcha. And got out of his truck and started pulling out like shovels. And I'm like Jesus. Yikes. But um, the police came and got him, and he got charged for a DUI. Nice. Yeah. Classic. They that's got almost, him. That's almost just a peru thing that's the cherry on top to be like yep this would have happened in peru. Yep. Uh, the dui i feel like that's yeah like, yeah that's why i don't it's, yeah. not even him getting out of the car with the shovel it's just him having a dui yeah it's the staple it's the peru staples <laughs> having a dui <laughs> or a couple i mean you see everybody in there that's true who hasn't had a dui let's be honest <laughs> come on uh, guys i heard that the uh police were informed that the kkk would show up like really? they were getting threats of that and I was like, I feel like it's just teenagers trolling. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? that's all it is. I've heard, like, I can't. Can you imagine someone walk out there with a white hood? They get their ass kicked. Oh yeah, they would get their shit rocked. Exactly. I guess I did see like a uh, one of my friends sent a Snapchat video, and there was a dude in like Nazi uniform. Oh really? I don't know how. 
hundred percent correct that was. I saw was. the video and I didn't see any like swastikas or any swastikas. Okay. Yeah, Swast- swastikas. I, I'm not really swastikas. too like keen on that pronunciation. It doesn't yeah. really matter to the me. The German, the yeah. German sign. Yeah. Um. I I didn't see any, but it looked like some like uniform that he was wearing. I'm like. Do you just get Eesh. done raiding a surplus store? Yeah, I guess. Do you have like the really like tall leather boots and everything, or like I how? just saw like the top half of him, like in the jacket. He was wearing like a jacket, like a gray. But if he's just like this is a really stylish jacket, <laughs> yeah. But everyone's like, look at this Nazi at her. Got it from Spencer's or Hot Topic, and then people are like, oh, he's Nazi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that would definitely happen here too. I think. Yeah, <laughs> some accidental Nazism. <laughs> Just an accidental Nazi, you know. Sorry. No big deal. Unintentional. Sorry, guys. This was all. Sorry. I just wore this jacket. I didn't mean it to be anything. (laughs) But, yeah, I'm very glad that it uh, went well. Mm -hmm. Other than that little hiccup. But the justice was served to the DUI DUI man. (laughs) The DUI man. (laughs) (laughs) It's like the the most uh, belligerent superhero. (laughs) He's actually a supervillain, I guess. He's going to be a hero. But it's just, be a hero, literally though. just the biggest he'd asshole. He'd be a hero here, yeah. but I, anywhere else he'd be a villain. I Local think. hero, DUI man. DUI man. Oh my I'm god! I'm gonna s- drive or something like that. I'm oh, uh, I'm gonna, gonna drive and flip everybody off. That'll uh, teach him. That'll. That, uh, I like being drunk. I, <laughs> I like drunk like driving. A, he's like a doll. We pull a string. He says, "I like being drunk." <laughs> <laughs> Like a little, like, woody doll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay. Someone took away my keys. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pulled over by the police. <laughs> Someone poisoned my blood alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Someone spiked my blood alcohol content. <laughs> oh, Someone man. rigged my breathalyzer. To <laughs> 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 okay, so do we want to hop? Let's hop into a question. Let's get a question. We'll, we're well, gonna, wait. Just stay tuned. We're gonna. Yeah. Um, we'll announce. We're gonna do like a question, and then we'll like we'll figure we'll out announce. the giveaway. Yeah, just so, to keep you guys in. Yeah, what we did is uh, we took everybody that um, that entered. So either by retweeting or asking a question. Yes, that exactly. Was an entry. Retweet or an- or asking us a question. Mm-hmm. Um, I put them on a list. I numbered them w- one through eight. And then we're going to hop into, like, a random number picker. Mm-hmm. And so whatever number that picks, they won the socks. They won the socks. So just keep your fingers crossed while you're listening to this that your number got picked. Yeah, one through eight, remember. One think through eight. Of, think of a number between one through yeah. eight. <laughs> think of your number. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to tell you which one your number is. But just, just think of think your of, number. Just think of a number think one of through eight. Number. Yes. Then second place will be if you get to pick, if you get your number right, you just have to message us or something. Yeah, be like, I, I, I swear I, I was swear number, two. number two. Yeah. Like, Oh, and, but you were number two. You just didn't get it. Then I'll, we'll, you know, we won't give we'll you anything. We'll do something. We'll give you a shout we'll out shout or something. Out. Yeah, we'll say this guy picked the right number. Okay, so I'll just do the uh, Jeremy Jakes, a good friend of mine, one of, one of my better, better bestest friends at yeah. IUK. Uh, he said, what made you get into the podcast business? That's a great question, Jay. Thanks for asking it. Oh, I thought there was a second half to that. Do you want me to? Yeah, me you can just read, okay. read the whole thing. The other one was, do you see yourself branching into other videos in the future? Oh, there are two separate ones? They were two separate ones. Oh, my yeah. bad. Okay, let's uh, let's do the first one. So, like, okay. what made us, what made us jump into, into the, the podcast, podcast business? business? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like it was a long time ago when James and I f- did our first run to the podcast that never really... Like, we did six or seven episodes? I thought it was about six. Maybe I think seven, it was six, but yeah. either way, we did over five. Yeah. And then put one out the rest were they're still in my google like my google drive they're, they're in the so bunker so i was thinking about maybe like one day oh man like have Releasing. like a separate day i'll release like the, the old disney ones. vault like yes. opening the vault this the avgp vault yeah. yeah i think that'd be a great idea yeah and then we took a hiatus and then i forget like what like what i don't know i think like one of us texted each other or something like we saw each other and then we're like dude we should we should get. We should, do, that we should do it again. Yeah. We should really get back into this. Um, uh, I don't remember what exactly happened. Like, I don't remember why we started again, but I remember being like, "We've done it once." Yeah. We can do it better this right. time. We've like, done I it remember- once, and we really enjoyed doing it. Yeah. And like, we really like. We still both wanted to really like do it and get something out there. Right. And, like, Rather than like, yeah. yeah. Then just do six, and then be like, "Oh, that was fun." Like, I, we'd like to do something on a more, like, the fact that we're on 12. Yeah. It's almost, like, the most consistent thing that we've done. 
And then I really want to add another like sense of consistency consistency to it. Sorry, I'm a yeah. little mouth a little dry today. <laughs> consistency. Mm-hmm. There it is. Got him. Um, I really want to start uploading these like on a schedule, right. which we tried doing at first, and then but like right now with both of our just, ske- like yeah, both of our work really schedules and stuff, and then like especially like later we'll both have work and school schedules to bounce around with. Um, I want to like start doing it like. Like, we're um, releasing it every Monday, which I don't know. Like, we, I feel like it could be better. Like, we did it, like, on a Friday or Saturday. Mm-hmm. Like, release them on a Friday or Saturday. Record one, sit on it. Like, just have it scheduled for Friday or Saturday or something. Mm-hmm. Like, any day of the week, really. Um, but just right now, it's kind of like whenever. Like, we record it. Like, I think today. Like, today. Yeah. I'll we'll record this. Mm-hmm. And I'll save. I'll upload it today. Okay. Um, I And then I just, I don't know. What's today? Monday, Monday, and we recorded eight. like we uploaded eleven on Friday, like yeah. the last Friday. Yeah. Um. So like, I really want like more like a structured, like thing. Cause I know my friend Christian was saying, um, he's like, you guys should really. He's like, you you should put it like on like a like a on a day on a like day. Specify. Yeah. Which I would really like to do, but I just think it's, it's like it's really hard right now. It's it tough. was super easy at the beginning because like I wasn't working on the weekend right. or anything like that. But now since I am and I have no idea where my schedule is. Like literally, it just changes every week. Which is yeah. pretty classic with part time, but I like mean, I mean, yeah, like one any, week's thirty hours, one week is ten, so it's just like you have no idea. Yeah, and like what days you work, like you could work, like oh, I was yeah. like, I don't work Friday, but then next Friday you're like, oh, I work the entire day. You're right. So I don't know. One day we'll get there. Um, I would like to get there, but right now, if you guys can stick with it, just being random just uploads, be that'd little, be cool. Yeah. yeah, just keep that notifications on, so right? That way you know. And I think I think having more like structured uploads would really like kind of uh for I, th- I think it would like boost um like Attention. listeners and like get like creating a fan base mm-hmm. like that's that's really like what I like would love to do is have like just pull people in from the outside like not just like our local friends listening right you know like yeah, I yeah. want like people that don't even know and Ooh. I think the video would help it would help that too. Yeah. I don't know. Just that's just in there's my a lot head, of I things think. that we have, but like the people that are listening now can be like the that's like the core of the fan base. Like that's why I thought the questions were a great idea because yes. I like fan participation, I like interaction. interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like, makes I don't know. It makes me feel like where it's part of something. Well, I have a really quick like I had a really cool something happen to me when I was at work. Yeah, this was one of my. Um, there's a a bagger and a cart a cart cowboy cow car girl cow girl <laughs> actually and uh I was like so when people leave their carts in like the produce section like I was cleaning it up for the night wrapping it up and so I was bringing it because we have to get clean now yeah so I was bringing it to the girl that was cleaning it and I was like is you know what's your name I was, and so she told me I was like okay well here you go and then I brought her another one and she goes hey do you have a podcast what I swear to God I've never uh like spoken to never her spoken to her and i was like yeah she's like i thought so you sound you sounded familiar and i thought you worked here um my boyfriend listens and we were listening to it on the what? way down so i was like what? holy crap so that's so dope jacob rush gets a shout out because uh really because that's who her i recognize is. that name but he went to mcconaughey yeah yeah yeah. that's so sick him. so yeah i was just like holy crap like for me i was like is this what it means to be famous dude like, that's Someone oh I've never God. even talked to that is like, like, do you have a podcast? That, like, <laughs> makes me tingle inside. <laughs> like. <laughs> Dude, that an orgasm. <laughs> Dude, but, like, that makes me, I don't know, that makes me so happy. Like, yeah, and then you were real. telling me, like, about, like, the the people that, like, you went to school and, like, like ran with. Yeah, yeah. That, like, people I don't even know. Like, yeah, they're yeah. listening to it. Like, right. people that, like, we don't, we don't that's, like, exactly what I want. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's what. Like that's what we want as a that's whole. A, that's a really perfect picture of. Yeah. Like, I don't really care how. I mean, I'd like to do see it do well, but it's like honestly, it's like we can keep having stuff like that. Right. Like, that's a little win. Yeah. But it means it's a lot little, to us. It means so much to yeah. us, and like even the people like retweeting and asking questions, especially the people asking questions, because we're still not we're getting like a couple questions. Right. Like mostly, like I don't know, maybe people are like afraid to, or they're like they're just like I don't really, I can't think of anything. That I would want to listen to or we whatever. We talked about a gorilla fighting 
Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. So how many Shaquille so O'Neals it would take? So use that as your standard. Yeah, you, exactly. It you can, definitely it you literally be, be anything. Anything at all. Anything at all. Like that's what we want. But no, just her like her saying that. I was like, holy cow! Like that's super <laughs> cool. And then, but for me, it's like I got real self conscious because I feel like I sound like I I, I know I mumble a little bit. Like yeah. I don't enunciate as well. But like very early on in the pot, like the really early. Uh, episodes like not even the ones we did last year, but like of this, yeah, this go the, around, this, yeah, yeah, round two. Um, I feel like I sounded more like mumbly and I don't open my mouth as much, dude. Same here. And I was so. listening to, I was listening to 11 uh, on the way to work one day and I was listening to myself. I'm like, dude, I gotta open my mouth more. I was like, I need to enunciate. I need to enunciate. Hello, this is a very good podcast. My name is Cameron. And my name is James. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but there was like there was one part in it and I where I say something mm-hmm. and it's so mumbled you can't even tell what it, what is. it is. I listened to it and I was like, what did I what did what I even, even say there? there? Like I have wow. no idea. So yeah. I'm gonna try and get better at that. I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm getting better at it too. Uh, I think what mine is is like I still get kinda like nervous mm-hmm. when we're doing this. I don't know why. I still, man, my mouth gets really dry, and then I start getting excited, and I start talking too fast, and I yeah. start, like, I'm like, oh, I, blah, blah. I'm not going to, I feel like that, like, the dry mouth thing, because I, I bought this mouthwash, because I'm like, I'm, like, having these masks, like, I'll eat lunch, and I usually chew a stick of gum afterwards, yeah. but, like, there's some times where I'm, like, I'm breathing in that mask, and I'm like, yeah. Dude, like, I got, like, oh. ham breath. Yeah. Like, it's a little gnarly right now. <laughs> yeah. So, I bought this Intense. Like, it's the Colgate or Crest Intense. Yeah. But it burns. It's seriously so... But anyway, but I've been... I feel like having a, a fresh mouth, I guess, like, yeah. makes makes it easier to enunciate. I don't yeah. know. That's just my theory. I think I need to work on that, just having a fresher mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I need to work on having a fresher breath. <laughs> That's something I seriously want to take or I want to take seriously in 2020. Take, come on, guys. So, like, this is Let's my 2020. Let's take oral hygiene yes. more, better. I think we should seriously. take oral, oral hygiene more seriously. Um, so, I guess we kind of got off subject there, off the question. But, like, That's okay. w- what made us get into the podcast business? I don't. I think James and I, like, we recognize that we had a good, like, dynamic together. James and I have been friends for a while. A while now. Which like, is crazy. I think about that sometimes, too. How, how, long, how long we've been Well, boys? how long we've been from, like friends but also how how long you've been friends with like other like evan or brandon how much yeah. longer you've been friends with them dude i was friends I feel, I was brandon like, and i were best friends since like third grade i'm like the late comer in the game yeah in the gang i'm like the the last member to be yeah i almost i want to call it i'd say he went hollywood on me <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's the joke is that like in like sophomore year yeah like we were best friends all through like third grade to sophomore year and then he just randomly quit talking to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but now went, we're friends again. We're cool. Went Hollywood. He now went he's back Hollywood. to Hollywood. Yeah. He's back to Indiana. Wood. Hanging out with the popular kids in school, and then I wasn't cool enough for that. He was getting too much clout, um, which is respect. I respect that. I respect the clout yeah, chasing. Yeah, the clout chasing, you, you really you you got to leave. You got to grind leave. for it yeah. in high school. You know? yeah. Oh, <laughs> in high school especially. Especially in high school. That's like peak harvest season yeah, to dude. grind. And that's when you leave everybody in the dust to get some <laughs> clout, bro. But, you know. Love you, Brandon. We you're the boy. Love you, Brandon. Yeah, you're the guy, bro. <laughs> um, I was gonna answer it with. I think it's one of those things that uh, we kind of we tried because when we podcast, I don't know how much I was listening to podcasts when we first did it, but I think we knew it was like a popular thing. Yeah, and it doesn't require a lot of uh, equipment. Right. And I think it's the same thing like with the videos that we're like, hey, this would be a cool idea. Let's do it, and then we do it. And I think that's kind of how we went with it. We were like, it'd be cool if we had a podcast. And they're like, well, why don't we do it? Yeah, so like we, we just, can absolutely do it. Right. And so we bought the mics, have the... And during the time I was starting, <laughs> I was doing another podcast with my friends, Nathan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember which, that. None of those episodes got put out. Right. I don't even think we had a name. We might have had a name. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. We did like... A very... Three well episodes. Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a very neat podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We did. We recorded like three episodes. Those never got put out. So I had a. I had one mic that I bought, mm-hmm. and then I was like, I, I was talking to James about, it and I was like, I, I asked him if he could. Like Nathan bought the mics, and I just gave him money. So I was like, I just can you get me another one because I'm gonna do one with James, and uh, we got the mics. We set it up, did everything in my room in the AVGP studios, mm-hmm. um, and it, they turned out really well. Like they turned out so good. And like the first ones, yes. Like, see, and I, in my mind, it's just such a like 
I can't imagine what we were talking about Dude, or like they're so good cuz I even like in the last year I like went into the Google Drive and just listened to them like on the way to work. Yeah. And they're quiet like uh, like we didn't They don't sound as good. Yeah, probably. they were on like uh they were on just on GarageBand and we couldn't turn up like the gain or oh, the yeah. volume very much so they were still very quiet, which even but which is no big deal, I guess. But, like, the stuff that we talked about, it was, we were so funny. Like, I caught myself just, like, cracking up. Is it like, like, is it like watching an old video of yourself? Yeah. Like, ah, uh, that's, it is. yeah, see, that's what I'm like, Shh, I'm probably embarrassing. But that's ah, kind of what makes it funny, I right? think they're so good. I love them. We'll so definitely have to put them yeah, out Yeah, one sometime. day, like, I'll have to put them out, like, just. Maybe, like, in another milestone. Yeah. Put them out. Uh, yeah, that would be, I, I love that. That's another nice. milestone. I think yeah. we should definitely do that. Yeah. And then. Just have them like in a separate little playlist, and yeah. I'll even use like, like throwbacks. Yeah, like, like throwback I'll use episode. the old thumbnail, the <laughs> yeah. old shitty thumbnail of us in the Minecraft clouds, holding the Wendy's <laughs> bag that I whited out to say a very good podcast. That was cool. Those were the days, bro. Um, but yeah, I think it's just because we knew we could, and there's no, there's a, I don't know. I feel like with the internet, there's really not. You don't even need like a laptop. You literally could just use your phone and you could exactly. make a podcast. So exactly. That was the big thing for me is like we could do it. We could do it now, like right now if we wanted to, but let's get some stuff that makes yeah. it more a little bit better. Right. And quality, yeah, but. even having just the two mics and a laptop is like such a step above. Right. Like, just like having my phone on the table or something. Yeah. Doing the like voice memos sound or whatever. Way. Yeah. Um, and I've always been like a fan of podcasts. I've been listening to podcasts forever and like I love Mostly, I listen to like uh, like comedy podcasts. Like I listen to a lot of like. That's actually it. I'm not gonna say because that's a different question that gotcha. we have. Um, okay. Yeah, but I've been listening to like I've podcasts. I've always loved listening to podcasts. I thought James and I had a great dynamic because mm-hmm. we did a couple like other of like our videos before like the commercials and um, like we did like the thrift look. I don't even know. I think those were after the podcast. The thrift looks. Yeah, I thought one of them was before. We did one of them with because Brandon was in that one. Yeah. So I think we've done. Did we do three? We did two thrift looks. Okay. So well, one. maybe we did three. We did three because we one did of two them videos and then one with just pictures, right? Yeah, I think one was just pictures that we yeah. like put on Instagram. Because that's the one where I'm wearing like the jorts with the, the I love my wife. Yeah. Shirt. Yeah, and I have like that. You have like, the the flame. The flame shirt, I still have that. I'm going to start wearing yeah. that this summer, dude. I'm so excited yeah. to wear that. Um, yeah. So we did three thrift looks. Thrift looks. Three looks. <laughs> three looks. Three looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did three of those. And then, I don't know, James, I just felt like James and I could do it. Yeah. And James and I are good friends. We're interesting we're enough. Yeah. We're funny. We think we're funny. Oh, yeah. And, and I knew from, like, the Marsh days that, like, I was like, this is the guy. some good chemistry. Yeah, here. I was like, this is the guy that I would do a podcast with. <laughs> I'm touched. <laughs> Freaking Marsh You're my days. boy. That's James. what's crazy. That's what I think about like our friendship. It's like, man, if it's, you think we about go way like, back, bro. How much like <laughs> I don't know how much closer we got because of Marsh. Like, oh yeah, I, 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 I feel like taken that's that what job. really set it off. Is like because yeah. we we're like we knew about it, like we knew of we each knew other in school about each other. But like, and I remember in middle school, like we had that one gym class together, and we became good friends in there because we were like the only two boys oh in that class. Oh my god. Yeah. I was yes. Yeah. And uh <laughs> Yes, what how did that get How did that even happen? <laughs> we were know. literally there's no, I there was know. us and then cuz remember David Yoder? Was he in that class? <laughs> he was. Okay. Remember? Yeah, I have a really weird story about him. Yeah, I think we all do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but James and class I class of 2016 <laughs> David Yoder story time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we were serious. We were. I kid you not. There were three boys, and David was like I he don't, wasn't. He wasn't. He w- part not of that game. he wasn't a boy. It's just he wasn't really talking to anyone. So. No, right? Yeah, he was kind of by himself. So it was literally just Cameron and I. And I remember being like, "What the f? What the actual? How does f that happen? <laughs> Did this get? Yeah, I, I don't no, know. No I don't know. Some, how there's a glitch in the <laughs> matrix or a glitch in the system or something. Someone then. forgot to smack the TV, yeah. or like the computer, <laughs> to make sure it's right. Because make sure it's like evenly ratioed. Yeah, that was <laughs> from not... boys to girls in a middle school gym class. Oh my god, that was insane. <laughs> that was so fun though, because <laughs> like I think that's what like that's what really set it off. That was like the that seed was the, uh, that planted yeah, the, the seed. Kindling. Yeah, yeah. And so like James and I sat next to each other, and I always thought it was so cool that you had like these uh, like dubstep like backgrounds like of these <laughs> of like laptop? yeah like these <laughs> dubstep yeah dude literally i just... thought that was so cool and i i copied you 
every single step of the way for that because I was like, that's dope. Aww, and I didn't even listen didn't to dubstep that. like that. Like, I didn't You're listen like, to EDM or anything. Shit, but I'm like, <laughs> I tried to, but I couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, that was during the time I didn't listen to music at all either. Like, uh, oh, there, yeah. Like, I think, like, freshman year of high school, I was like, what did you, oh, did music's you cool. To I know. I didn't. You I just, just didn't listen to music. Talk radio or yeah. not even? I didn't just listen to anything. Yeah, just, just silence. Yeah. I had my iPod. I probably had like some stupid shit on Crazy there from frog. Guitar Hero Three. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> Frog, yeah. Yeah, a little different. I, yeah. Guitar Hero yeah, Three was, yeah, like, was a cool mix. Right that was there. a pretty banger uh, yeah. game right there. But but Guitar yes, the I best. definitely remember being yeah. like, just everything about that was like trying to do the sports, like trying to be involved, which is basically like us standing back and watching these like <laughs> these girls just go these um, like yeah go crazy we're like what is they happening were some here? of them were pretty uh pretty ruthless oh yeah that was some like, of them didn't give an f about all right so <laughs> i was i wasn't gonna say it but like now i'm gonna say it because that like i don't know if anybody like everybody else had this but like here McConnell. you know like i know especially in our class like during like all the times like there are these group of girls that were like were like kind of they were you rough were, yeah, around the edges. I'll, I might. I'll here. I'll take a stab. Yeah, yeah. Ghetto is kind of what we used to describe <laughs> yeah. them as, which, yeah. which is not cool now. Not cool now. No, not cool. No. But in middle school, that's dude. So we're not okay. Just to clarify, we're not saying they acted black. Like that's not what we're no. saying. What we are saying though is that they acted like want to be gangster. Like they acted yeah, like they're doves. like heathens, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind of like scared me. Oh yeah. And it was this big group of girls. Every Every like uh, they would they would not they would not hesitate to tell you to like shut the fuck up in yeah, class like yeah. that's the type of person we're talking in about. in the middle of class middle of class and then they would brush they would be like unbothered and the teachers can't do anything they're right like, that's just how they are they're like <laughs> they're not gonna say anything that's just how they are <laughs> yeah. that's just in, that's just you know hey sometimes <laughs> the cards land like that you know exactly because I mean if the teacher says something they're gonna say something right oh back. yeah that's gonna be like the one Shaquille O'Neal versus fifty chickens right there I mean, yeah you're just gonna get over yeah you're gonna get swarmed you're just over like I don't know like yeah. way out that class was Jerry Springer. Oh, middle school gym that's edition. That's the perfect way to explain it. Yeah. Like any, so any, it's not that it's ghetto. They were just like, just think of the craziest type of people. Like crazy and like rough and rowdy. I'm like, and James and I were not like that. So we, we were just kind of like sat in the corner boys. of the class because like it was like half the days were health and half the days were gym. So like I, during the health days, we we're sitting in the corner like just afraid. <laughs> we're just shaking in the corner like, look at this dubstep background, James. <laughs> if you type in Skrillex, type background <laughs> this one it's got cool neon colors <laughs> yeah dude and i thought that was so cool i was like james i am copying you every single step of the way Go and i was it. like trying to be like dude i heard this like did you hear this song and you're yeah. like you're like oh yeah and i'm like yeah it's really good and i never even wow. listened to I it i remember that yeah I remember crazy. that because I thought it was so cool. Wow. And then, like... So we go back even deeper than I thought. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I forgot about that gym class. I can't imagine. That that was a time. That dude. was real. <laughs> like, imagine that going through that now. Like, 22, 23-year-old us going through that now. What, like, like, how would we Like, if we be? could transport, like, our, like, mind yeah. and, like, psyche into that body like go back in time but Dude, with I what about we that know so much i don't know just if like, you have the, how like, crazy we could have we could have stirred some shit up oh or like God. we would have <laughs> we could have ran that class yeah. <laughs> <laughs> especially like with how we are now i think like yeah. we could have just like we would have been like oh, the yeah. clown, we could have capitalized bro. on that oh my hardcore. god we would have just like we'd we'd just been like the kings of that class <laughs> the kings <dude>. yeah <laughs> it would have been our classroom <laughs> but yeah so uh, to answer Jay's question, I think it was just the attitude of uh, we should do it. We get along well. Yeah, Let's we have it, the chemistry. So. We can talk well. We're we're funny enough together. I think, um, like we can. Yeah, that's because I would like I like the idea of doing one regardless. But I was like, I'd rather do one with someone that I get along. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Someone I can have fun with. Right. Not like having a serious. Because a lot one, of the like... podcasts I listen to are like are political or. Uh, I don't know, like informative, I guess. Yeah, like, like they're a little bit serious, more, more serious. Nothing, like yeah, crazy, it's yeah. like more adult, but not like explicit adult content. Yeah. But, uh, We're just joking around. But yeah, that's, that's why, yeah. And I think James and I, like, we can do that. And especially like, because we had that class and then like, of, like we knew each other, like all through school, like we'd say like, what's up to each other, but never really like hung out or like yeah. said anything to each other. It was not a very social, like I barely hung out with friends. Yeah, dude, I, I was, like, was really I was early, like in middle school and high, like, when I started it, I don't know. Like, high school is kind of when I started to get a little bit yeah. more. I hung out with Evan, and that's it. Yeah. Like, that's – Evan and I were, like, 
did best you, friends. Did you move around? Did you have you stayed in McCon- like the school corporation forever? Because I went to like four. I've gone to four different schools. Really? So yeah, like we kind of moved around a little bit. Yeah. Like all we didn't move around like across states or anything, but we moved around a little bit early on. So like uh, from third grade on, or for third grade like from preschool to third grade i think i was going to like a different school every year almost damn I did not so know that. yeah i was like i was i've no i stayed in the district the whole time the only thing that was different is like um i went to pipe creek yeah from like from from whenever you first could. to third yeah or preschool to third i think okay um and then like that was kind of a weird thing like okay so like in our district you could go to pipe creek from first to third or you could go to mcconaughey from first, first to, from one through twelve. Yeah. But Pike Creek was only one, like preschool to three, and then so like after that you get, you get moved to, to McConaughey. McConaughey. and I was so afraid. I was so scared because like, and then you like you have these two different like um, these two different groups meshing together. Mm-hmm. Like then you have like all the Pipe Creek kids that are friends. And then you have all the McConaughey kids that are friends. Like that the have, sharks and the jets. Yeah, ex- exactly. That's basically <laughs> what it was. And I was so afraid of that because they would be like, "Oh, you went to you went to Pipe, Pipe Creek." Creek. Blah, blah, blah. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, I did. I don't know. Like, I can't control that. <laughs> like, right. I didn't exactly. choose. Yeah. Which I love. Pipe Creek was incredible. That I was a was, good time. That's where good. Brandon and I became friends. Yeah. Brandon went, and then I don't know. Oh yeah. It was just. And then it was just from McConaughey then. Right. So that's that's all I've had. Oh, sophomore year, I tried homeschooling for like the first month, yeah. and that sucked. And then so I just showed up <laughs> sophomore year a month late, and everybody's like, where, where were you? you? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, uh, I, you know, just around. <laughs> Someone, so many people ask me, like, were you like on like vacation or something? Or like, did you like take did a trip somewhere? Costa Rica? Yeah, I'm like... No, I uh, just tried homeschooling, and it you, like, sucked. You couldn't. No, dude, it was like awful. you couldn't be like. No, it's gonna be like you oh. couldn't go along with like. Oh yeah, you know, I was just out of the country. Like, yeah, yeah. You no, didn't I was think... in Europe for a minute, <laughs> right? I was like, just living in Europe for just a month. kicking it in uh, China for a couple <laughs> yeah. couple weeks. Instead, you're like, uh, I was homeschooled, I was, and they're like, why? why? And I'm like, I don't know. I wanted to try it. I guess. Jeez, I wanted to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I sleep till ten, bro. It's the best thing. So, do we answer what was the second question? Do we answer that now? Yeah, we can. Do you answer see yourself branching into other videos in the future? I feel like we kind of we haven't answered that, but I definitely think so because we've done other stuff before. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, like once, like so the pot, like we did, like James and I have done videos before, and like we have like the thrift looks and the commercial. <laughs> Did we do one or two commercials together? We did together? a Pop-Tarts commercial. Yeah, we did the Pop-Tarts commercial. We did a Wendy's commercial. And the Wendy's commercial, yes. You and Ethan. Ethan and I did an Eggos did an commercial. did an Eggos commercial. Um, We've done then, the Midnight Snack. We did. That was your That was yeah, your endeavor. Yeah, that was my thing. The Midnight Snacks, dude. I miss doing those. Dude, I, I watch really those. Some, I watch those sometimes. They're cringy now. The first, I think the first three, I loved the first three. Yeah. Anything after that. That's what happens to all my video. Like that's what happened to all my videos. Like that I was making. Like I was trying to make these stupid little skit things. Dude, the Tony and Polly and Tony. Polly and Tony. That was dude. I was a local legend for that. I bet dude. Those things blew up. They did. Yeah. I was. Everybody was like, "Oh, the Polly and Tonys." I'm like, "Ha." <laughs> I'm like, "He he he." Yeah, they're funny, I guess. <laughs> but everything it it happened the same. I don't want to do it like that. I would do, like, I'll like. For instance, the midnight snacks, the first three are great. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I just kept trying. Like, I was trying way too hard. Like, the, like, they just kept, like, having to, like, one-up each other. They had to, like, I had to add another thing in that was, like, canon to the thing. Like, having a guest. Like, having a special guest on. Just, I had to, like, I don't know. Just, like, the way I acted, I just, the last couple were just not good because mm. I tried way too hard. Yeah, and th- that's what I loved about the first yeah. three is like they were just like off the cuff. Like, let's just I have this idea. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's almost like in, like it, the later ones become more like you try to calculate it. and yeah. it tries to be more of a science. Whereas the first three are just like let's just do this and see how it goes. And that's the f- I think that's what's funny is like yeah. you're just like trying you're just like doing it like as you go along, mm-hmm. and uh, that, I think that's my problem. And I did it with the Polly and Tonys too. I was just like trying way 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 too hard, and it just like ended up not. Like, just not being funny or, like, fun to do anymore. Because I was, like, trying to calculate it way too much. Right. 
Um, but I would love, I would love to like do videos. I mean, again. yeah, we still talk about. I think every, as long as there's like a shared interest in the creative space, I feel like we're, we're always willing to try it, which I really yeah. appreciate because like even the like the Midwest mayhem type stuff, yeah. like we we eventually want to get to those, but uh, that's not you know what I mean like. There's potential. There's a lot of potential for like we could even do like a music video for one of those. Like yeah. there's still a lot of videos that there's I lot, think we yeah. we could do, but we also know in our in our wisdom now that like you're better off with like quality, over right? Like quanti- quanti- Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. And I like like you were saying. I, I we know we both want to do it. Just right now, it's like. I think right now we're focusing on the podcast yeah. and doing other things that like it seems to be the best thing that we can put an uh, like a majority of our time in yeah. and get some yeah cuz I feel like the more we start to so like the less time we would dedicate to this then the quality might go down a little bit right and I'd rather keep this as high quality as we can for until we have something set for yeah another video or you know, idea or whatever. And then like we take a day to film a video, but we don't have a podcast. Right. So, so there's like trade off. Yeah. That have to calculate. I yeah. I, just that's it's in the cards just for later. Right. Like, and then we, I think we, this sh- is a lo- this is a slow burn type yeah. of thing. Like, but just like stay up, stay updated, stay, stay with us. Don't leave. Stay, stay. Please don't leave us. No, yeah. we definitely want to do other videos. I think like, like I said, I feel like we've always been, and that's something I keep saying, but I have always really appreciated about just you as a person also is just the fact that like I can toss you something like, hey, here's something I thought of. Yeah. And you, and you can like give me your thoughts. And then like if you like it, it becomes a thing. Yeah. And expand on it with my own thoughts, too. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. That's and, perfect. That's yeah. a perfect way to put it. And there's I don't know. Just the internet, there's a man. lot to be done, man. Yeah. I think and that I think more people should like if you guys have ideas for something. Do it. Do it. I mean, that's what we did. Like, that's. With the commercials and with that's what I do with Polly and Tony and the midnight snacks and like everything. It's just you just do it. Mm-hmm. And like I was like so like big on like, oh, what if people judge me for this? But right. like no, dude. That's kind just, of that's kind of I mean it's part of, of it, but like that's part of it is that it's corny or yeah, you know, and like it's people not for everyone. yeah, it's not for everybody. But yeah. like if you're like we've mentioned it before, but if you're creating something, then create it. Yeah. Like if you have a creative outlet, no matter what it is, just take a hold of it and do it like that's such a big thing i feel like this the podcast right now is like such a way to like express like i don't know i i enjoy doing it because i feel like it really like it gets my mind working yeah and it really like just like i can expand on my like ideas and my like like what i have like my thoughts right well and it's also like uh a little bit of you're exposing yourself like I don't know, especially in like the last episode where it's like, I don't, I probably don't have the most popular opinions right. about the subject or I know people disagree with me, but it's also like, so it's a little scary to be not scary, but it's like you're exposing yourself because you're saying how you actually feel like you're being honest. Like I'm being honest cause I'm talking to you, but I'm also putting my thoughts out on the internet for right. everyone, for everyone to listen, listen to. to. So it's like, you're you're kind of you're taking a risk a little bit you know what yeah. I mean? like big time and yeah. i think that's part of like the uh like the fun of it yeah is like you you're putting your ideas and thoughts out for people to criticize and listen right. to especially with like the i don't know just like i really like the uh the shack versus gorillas <laughs> yeah. episode because we get like you could hear us like in real time actually calculate how many like, yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. we're actually thinking about it we <laughs> yeah. were just like 10 it would take 10 yeah it would take 10 all right next question yeah right like we really like <laughs> we put probably way too much thought <laughs> but that's the fun of it yeah <laughs> we took that's it so seriously it. yeah <laughs> so yeah um be on the lookout for more videos definitely um, that's in videos. that's just a future thing that james and i would love to yeah get into i don't know I don't. I was thinking about like reprising like the commercials or something like that, but I would mm-hmm. like to do something new, mm-hmm. like if some could, like some if we could like brain blast some new creative yes. ideas. That would be amazing. I Take mean, maybe that maybe even something. that could be on the back burner to the podcast, and then 
right now our first back burner is Midwest Mayhem yeah. in the album. Yeah. So then that could like videos could be even later. But who right. knows? Who knows? Like yeah, I think our friendship is one that's not just going to be done. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's going to be like a truly lifelong. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and I, so for as long yeah. as we are willing to do the things and be creative, I think we'll always be putting something out. I consider you a brother, James, and I would love to like that's that's the plan is to be lifelong to be a brother. Yeah, lifelong that's brothers, the plan dude. To be a brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, but. I don't yeah. know. Like, who know who's who's to say that we don't like one day we're just sitting around and like we think of like a video idea. We're like, yeah. what if we do this? And then right. we can just knock it out and be yeah. like, oh my god, that was really funny. That was really funny. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, you don't want to rush. That's that's why we don't put out stuff all the time. Yeah, like we do the podcast because that's a little bit. Uh, it's easier. It's easier to it's do. It's like right now, like where we're at in life. Yeah, it's easier, and it's like it's a chance for us to come together and still like create. Mm-hmm. Just not like on a like a on a more complex yeah level. not on a more complex like level you yeah. know like trying to get like shots and like trying to come up with like dialogue and yeah that's the and thing too shit. Is a lot of our stuff is improv I feel like I feel like sometimes we that's have ideas but then we don't have this like the details worked out and we come together and we're like uh yeah uh, this will work like we just kind of make shit we make ch- chicken shit into chicken salad yeah and it doesn't taste good no <laughs> that's true but uh that's what i'm in that jewel video yeah you were talking about that yeah. a couple episodes ago but yeah but no we definitely plan to answer your question jay uh we did the podcast because we could and we knew it would be fun and we are definitely going to make more videos in the future yes, yes that's on the okay so now we spent almost an hour. Yeah, we spent almost an hour, and now, <laughs> now. I wanted to like um, uh, say the winners at the beginning. No, dude. Now you have to you have to listen. Yeah, you have We're to really dig deep. You yeah, this is such a good you way just to, have to yeah. listen. To yeah. make you sure. have to understand. Okay, so I think right now. Right now. Let's pick the winner for right, everyone. Win. Pick your number. Lock. Everyone, pick your number. <laughs> Lock it in. Lock it in. I'm gonna press generate right now. Um. So good luck to anybody. I'm nervous. Dude, good luck. I'm dude, nervous. So I'm sweating. It. Yeah. Full send, dude. Six. Dude, Yo, the boy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. Austin Hirschberger. Shout the out the boy. Shout out. Shout who, out Austin Hirschberger. Dude, I cannot believe he won. I'm actually really excited <laughs> that he won. <laughs> he um has been like he's recently like a he sent me a DM um and I thought it was very nice and sweet. Um, like on the, f- the first, um, the tweet I did that, like the first entry, he like quoted it and said, I need those socks. And then he even like sent me a DM and said, new listener here. You guys got a good thing going. Uh, and he's like, wish you guys the best. And I see an extra digit on the horizon <sighs> or that was episode 10. So yeah. Cause so, we were talking about yeah. two digits. Right. Um, and then with episode 11, he had DM me just randomly. He's like, great episode today. And I was like, dude, that's what's up. That's, that's so nice. That's the stuff we love right yes. there. Um, so congratulations, Austin. Congrats, Austin. I'm, dude, I don't even know. I'm so excited that he won. So, uh, we'll be in, you'll be getting yeah, your we'll socks be in touch. sometime. Yeah, we will be in touch. Sometime. You um, I hope you listen to this. I kind of want to put this up and then wait and like not say anything about who won, who won and like see, see if people, if people on, like yeah. listen to see if they won. Right. Um, but I don't know. I'll probably send like a DM or something and be like, you yo. Yeah. Hey, make sure you listen. If you just DM him. Be like, make sure you yes. listen to this. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to say, I'm going to make, make sure you listen to episode 12. Yeah. Like the 40 minute mark. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, oh my God. So then off that, I think um, we should answer his question because he also sent a question, um, which is kind of the... Like it's in the same lane as your your like first Jeremy question, which Jeremy about. was saying. Yeah. Um, so he asked, like, what podcasts are your favorite, or which ones in particular inspired you to start podcasting? And I don't know about the first go around because I don't really remember. Uh, yeah, I don't. Remember. But I know, like, right now, what kind of inspired me is like, I don't know if anybody listens to like your mom's house or like with Tom Segura and his wife. They've been doing a podcast for like. 10 years Mm -hmm. and so like they have like a whole group of like commit like they're comedians and their whole group like this like in like this tight-knit circle of like chris delia theo vaughn like burt kreischer joe rogan 
like yeah. Joey Diaz. They all have podcasts, and I, I like listen and watch clips of those all the time. And I, I just love like their podcast structures. It's kind of like ours. Like we're just kind of like we have topics, and we also just kind of like riff and like just say whatever riff. we think. Like yeah, and like just try to make jokes yeah. and stuff. That's what I was gonna. Because for me, it's like I hate to be like Joe Rogan, but like. I learn a lot. I feel like, yeah. from, like there's a lot of interesting things and eventually like he's kind of a goal. Like clearly I don't think we're going to make a hundred million deal with Spotify. Dude, you never know, but you never know. And I, I don't know. Just like learning stuff. So like he was the podcast I listened to like more on a regular basis, but like Theo Vaughn. Yeah. I love his podcast because he says the dumbest stuff Dude, ever. I don't know how that man how he just like comes up with that shit. Right. Like That's I from love having a, a traumatized childhood That's or something. True. Yeah. He lived. He saw. He saw monkeys escape from his. Local <laughs> zoo. He had to corral them. So like that inspired me, a little bit. Like that inspired me to be more or less like, dude, just say the whatever. Yeah, just say whatever. Just if it's funny and if it's funny, whatever. it's funny. Yeah. If it's dumb, then it's dumb. And Maybe it's dumb, it'll be dumb yeah. and funny. That'd be cool. <laughs> if you want to be dumb, you got to be tough, bro. <laughs> um, another one of my favorites right now. Uh, this the they started their podcast after James and I, like did this second go around with a very good podcast, and it's called uh, Powerful Truth Angels, and it has Maddie Matheson, which I've been a huge like I don't even know like what's up with me about this shit is like a huge <laughs> fan of Maddie Matheson like he's a chef and he's had like four different TV shows on Vice and like will like make youtube videos and everything i've just been a huge like a massive fan just because like he like he gave me confidence to be like a bigger dude because he just doesn't give a shit right like he's like physically bigger. yeah he's a larger guy. like he's a larger guy yeah. and th- like his confidence like it kind of rubbed off on me i think that's why i like him so much is like mm-hmm. it really gave me the confidence to be like yeah i'm yeah i'm thicker yeah i'm thicker and i'm proud what you know? about it yeah what about it um and then this uh, with one of his friends, his name's Two Tone. I think I'm talking about this podcast before on on this podcast. Maybe who um, knows? But Two Tone is like a co-owner of the streetwear brand called Born and Raised, and they have been friends for a while. And so they're just like, let's do a podcast. Mm-hmm. And I, they're I think it's so fun to listen to. And they do like, um, like they just like do things during the podcast. Like one, they painted each other sitting across yeah. from each other. Like, and I tend to, sent that to James. I really want to bite it. Yeah. And I want to do that when we do video. Oh, like, I want to paint each other. And There's then, like, a, another one they do, they're, they're playing poker. Thundercat uh, and Zach Fox. I don't know if you know who Thundercat is. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Thundercat and Zach Fox, I think, have a video where they paint they each paint, other. Yeah, I've watched that, and like, three like, times. That's hilarious. It's so I love funny. That. So, yeah. I don't know if you've seen Zach Fox used to have this uh, radio show. Um, I forget like what it's, it's called bruh with awful records really and there's a couple episodes they're so funny like he has one with Thundercat and yeah. it's, if you, you have to listen, listen to, it to it or watch it there's a it's like the the video clips on YouTube but it's like yeah. the whole like interview like during the radio show right it is so funny Zach Fox is hilarious dude unreal like that man's like a comedy like inspiration oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. of just like I don't know like how he comes up with that shit either <laughs> yeah. like it's so funny to me there's I remember uh one time I was at the gym and I stumbled across the FaceTime call with him and uh, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> yeah. And I was cracking up just because of that. Like, Dude. I was just watching that on the <laughs> chest press yeah. and I was like, this is why it takes me four hours to yeah. do stuff. I listen to podcasts. Like, I was listening to podcasts while I work out and I was listening to, like, the bruh, like, with off, like, the, the radio show. Mm-hmm. And he um he was doing one with this artist named Key. I don't know if you know, like, the Key rapper. Key Glock? Is it Key? I don't think it's Key Glock. It's just Key. Okay. Yeah. If he's a rap, it probably is because uh, Key, I think, works with uh, Kenny Beats yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, So it's the same. Okay, okay. yeah. Um, and they, they're both of them together, it's the funniest, funniest shit I've yeah. ever listened to in my life. Like, there is this one segment, like, I reference it all the time. They're just talking about, like, Gandhi. And, like, they just start going off on how small he was. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, Gandhi was a small guy. They're like, he could just fit everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. I was listening to it. I was working out one time. And uh, I was listening to that, and I started laughing so hard. And I was, like, doing, like, a chest press. And I almost right. dropped the weights on myself because I was laughing so hard. And, they're, like, they're just nice. talking about, like, he could, like, walk through, like, a group of people. And he didn't have to turn sideways because right, he was so, so small. small. <laughs> yeah. And they're talking about like, uh, like if he was still alive, like Young Thug would be best friends with Gandhi. <laughs> and they just started, they're just like, I'm with Gandhi, slay. <laughs> and I thought it was so funny. Like, I don't know. 
and it just made me laugh really hard. Yeah. So that shit like inspired me. But right now, like, like all the like the comedy group podcasts, and then Powerful Truth Angels. That's really like my favorite right now, and like what kind of inspires me. Yeah. To be a podcast boy. Podcast boy. For me, it was just the idea of you know having a good time. Yeah. And then putting it out there. Like, it's kind of like we talk a lot about wanting to be a fly on the wall. Yeah. For, like, certain situations. And I feel like there's a lot of conversations we've had in our past where it's like, I love to get it. Like, I wish I could have recorded what we talked about. Yeah. So I could hear it later. And so I was like, well, we can do that. We, we can absolutely do that. That's a thing that technology has en- enabled us to do <laughs> nowadays. Technology does exist. So we can do it. <laughs> Dude, I watched um, The Invisible Man last night. Oh yeah. Have you ever seen that? No. Is the new the new Jesus. one? Jesus. Yeah, it's I mean, like relatively new. Right. It's about like the girl like yeah. runs away from her boyfriend and like he's this invisible man is chasing her like yeah. and he's just wearing like a suit. Like he's like this big like optics, like huge tech like top of the game in optics. Yeah. Makes a suit out of cameras and he's invisible. Oh, wow. And he, like, he pretends to kill himself. I thought himself. it was, like, a ghost or something. No. He oh. pretends. I guess I'm s- spoiling it. I guess, but who cares? So, yeah, who cares? If you haven't seen it, just whatever. Just stop it if you haven't. Yeah, just, haven't. yeah, pause it, watch it, and come back. But, like, he, like, um, stages this suicide, puts on this invisible suit, and, like, haunts her and, like, ruins her life. And it's, like, this, it's it's pretty scary. It's kind of creepy. It's, like, a horror movie, and it's pretty scary. I didn't realize it was that. I th- it almost makes it more sci-fi. Like that's I thought a, it was that's just actually, like, a, like that's exactly like what the description said. It was like sci-fi slash horror. I thought it was just like a ghost haunt, you know. That's no. why I was like, oh, okay, that's. I feel like that makes it less scary because you could just if it's just a guy. Yeah. Just, but it's still freaky. It's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like in my mind, to to make me not scared of it, I'm like, just throw paint on him and then shoot him or something. That's you know a, what I mean. That's actually like Is that how it ends. No, there's a there's a scene where she like throws paint on him. Yeah. But like somehow I don't know how it happened. He has like a camera. He has paint resistant cameras yeah yeah, yeah he so like she everything. throws white paint on him yeah and then like just runs off he walks away and then it's clean like what i'm like what how does that happen you got paint all over you bruh bruh you got paint on you have you, did you ever watch uh don't breathe no that's another one that's not really it's not horror because it's not like uh it's like a thriller it's thriller because it's suspenseful and that's yeah. why i like it because i'm like okay i can tolerate that like, i'm <laughs> yeah. not getting scared out of my pants <laughs> but uh i'm, I'm jumping out of my, my pants i'm so scared dude right like the conjuring i don't i don't mess with, don't that. Mess with that no i don't mess with scary movies like that no. like i went and saw the uh cindy and i went to go see oh like the newest you remember the annabelle movie yeah yeah okay. there was like a second one yeah and, and i never saw the like first one off yeah that they made yeah and that shit was so it's scary creepy. i saw it in theaters in the dark theater i was shit in my pants like absolutely, I was scared out of my mind. Oh, why did I see that? Didn't we go? We went to go see a, a scary movie together. We saw Lights Out. We saw Lights Out together. Yeah, and I'm ever good. Yes, I remember that. That I was, was like, Bro, that it was the no scariest homo, but we're movie. We're gonna go see the movie yeah. together. Yeah, I don't even remember. I think we like met at Five Guys and we were discussing like podcast. Like we like had like a business meeting. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a business. Meeting. We went to Five Guys and they were like. We're like, let's go see a movie. And we went to go we see it, dude. And it was, that, hands down, is the scariest movie I've seen in my life, dude. Really? The, I hate that movie. In in theaters, I remember being, like, scared shitless. Yeah. Because I remember I wore a hat, and it was probably the same hat, but I wore it, and I was, like, holding the yeah. brim down. We both did looking, the same thing. I remember looking over, because we both, like, I had a hat on, too, and I yeah, just put we my both, fingers up <laughs> we and rested them on my brim, so I was, like... I was we watching like, the movie cannot... through my fingers. Yes. Like, <laughs> we're that like... was scary. <laughs> I hate how scared I was of that. but It's a freaky movie. It's freaky. That's truly like a scary movie. Yeah. But you know what pissed me off? I was at, when I was... Oh, where was I? Where was I? I was at Indiana Tech, and I was talking to one of my buddies about it, and he's from Pennsylvania. And I don't know if it's a Pennsylvania person thing or not, <laughs> but like he's like... Oh, my, everyone in the theater was laughing when we saw that. What? Like, he saw it in his home theater. He's like, everyone was laughing because how bad it was. What? And I was like, what? You guys weren't crying? You guys weren't shivering? Sh- quaking in your boots? in your pants, dude? That's That was me. I was like, all I right, was dude. sweating. Yeah. I was like, I can't believe I paid money for that. Yeah, right? I was so mad that I paid money. I was like, why did I just pay money for this <laughs> to, to be tortured. scared out of my mind? Like, <laughs> yeah. I was just tortured, yeah. I was like, if anybody wants to get, like. But I remember feeling, like, belittled. I was like, oh. Okay, well, I thought it was scary, so yeah, 
you know. Well, it worked on me. The movie yeah, worked. I thought yeah. that was scary. I guess it's not effective against yeah. you. Against Pennsylvania people. Pennsylvania types. They're not scared of anything. It's apparently not. But yeah, it's, uh, I remember that. And then um, one of our, one of our first conf- one of my first attempts to like, when Emily and I were like, I'll say courting because we weren't really like, yeah. But we kind of knew we were gonna date. We just haven't really picked a date yet. Like that's what point. Like I think the the phrase at the time was like we're talking. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you guys were just talking. chatting it up it up and so i remember us both being like we're not a fan of scary movies or something like that but there was one because like i've said before she was in ireland after i had gotten back from england yeah so i had to wait for her to get back before i could do something um before we could get a date and uh there was like a movie for scary stories to tell in the dark yeah or some scary yeah scary story yeah i something like that yeah it's like off based off a book or whatever mm-hmm. so i like I messaged her the trailer on Instagram, and I was like, so you're down you to, to see to this? this? Yeah. And then she's like, totally. And I was like, okay. And we didn't, but that's how I knew oh, that. Oh, you she, didn't? We didn't even know. Cindy and I went to the theaters and saw, saw that. Saw it? Really? Yeah. It wasn't no, that scary. We didn't. We got Pizza King instead and hung out. Respect. I would do that over seeing <laughs> that scary movie. But anyway, that's how I was like, okay, I know she's down for a date. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so, kind of sick, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, how about we forget the scary movie? About, a pizza. That yeah. was just a test. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. Here, we you can... want to watch the scariest freaking movie ever? <laughs> no? Okay, cool. Okay, we, yeah, let's get pizza. But we can still hang out. Let's get pizza and watch like Adventure Time or something <laughs> like that. Watch... Something not scary. You can watch Cars too. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy, Toe Mater. Dude, I don't know the ghost light part. T-O-E. Kind of scary. Every time I think of T-O-E, T-O-E Mater. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. She's like, well, I don't know. Like the part of the ghost light that really freaks me out. You remember the ghost light? It's the ghost light. In it was cars the first too. one. It was in the first one. In Sorry. cars. In cars. Yeah, you don't remember that? No. What? Not really? It's the ghost light. The ghost light. Give me some context. Where are they at? Um, like tow made her. <laughs> are they in? Tow made her. That's gonna make me laugh. <laughs> no, it's like kind of in the middle of the movie, but like tow. I was just. I was gonna call him tow. T. T. <laughs> made her. <laughs> Mr. Mater. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mater. He's like in the woods in the dark or like in the desert because there's no woods in the desert. Um, <laughs> in the sand. Yeah, and he's in the sand in the dark. And like there's this like blue light. And it's like this like uh, like local horror thing or like local story of this. It's called the ghost light. And it's just a blue light that's like by itself and there's nothing. And like it gets like caught on him. Like it's just like, an actual light and it like gets caught on him and he gets really scared. And they even had like a little extra, um, like a, like an extent, like, like a, a short scene. Or? I don't know if you remember like watching. Like, oh, like the shorts. Yeah, the yeah. car shorts. Yeah, it was like there was a whole like ghost light one. Maybe that's what it was, and it wasn't out of the movie. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. But like, I remember the ghost light. They're at the V8 cafe. It looks like yeah. according to my YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> according to my sources. My YouTube research. <laughs> but I don't know. I thought it'd be funny to say that she got scared of the ghost light part, but. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> apparently, that joke went right yeah, over Yeah, apparently, head. like, I really missed on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was an air ball. Yeah. Big time air ball. Big time air ball. That's all right. It's you okay. win some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. Ah, drink my water. Get some water. All right. So, do you have any... Do you want to do one more question, or do you... Both of those, that's what you want to do. Both of those, I got my questions done. Okay, so I, I did have, one. Yeah. I'll do a real quick story, and then maybe we can wrap it up. Yeah. Or a little quick two story, because yeah. it's about Kroger. Yeah. And those stories. <laughs> so, um... So, my cousin uh, went to... The, so, there's, like, an employee's bathroom in the back of the store in Kroger, and then there's, like, a, like a customer's yeah. at the front. Yeah, yeah. And so, um... It's just like I don't know public bathrooms. Even even if it's like secluded, like still public bathrooms are like freaky, freaky. Yeah. And this is this is why like the story I'm about to tell. So uh, my cousin Andrew went to the ba- he went in there to the bathroom, and uh, so it's like one handicap stall. So there's like one like really big, like really wide stall. Then there's like a really tiny stall, and then there's like a urinal. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know what party went because I didn't go with them. But I know he <laughs> went in there and someone was in the uh, like the handicap stall yeah, the big one. doing their business. And they told him, and I quote, fucking stinks, doesn't it? 
Like his shit? Like the guy on the toilet pooping yeah. said that. Like about himself or yeah, just about the Yeah, he's like pinching him off and he says that. Like stinks, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> oh my God, dude. You work with that guy. I have. And so he told me this and I was like, who? Who could that be? Yeah. Like, okay, first that could either be someone that works here. So we're like, watch it be like the store manager because he's like really, he's like pretty religious. Yeah. So we're like, watch him just be like someone different, like behind the scenes. Yeah, like you have no idea. We're like, it's either him or it's like, it's one of these bag, like the baggers that like, they're all young and they just are weird. I feel like, I know it's really (laughs) mean, but like. But it's true though. I feel like they're socially not developed yet. You know what I mean? Like they're still going through social puberty. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's a stranger. And I was like, I hope it's not a stranger. Yeah, in the employee bathroom. Well, not because of that, just because it's like that people's that person that people that person's walking around in society. Yeah, just like how many people have you said that to? Right, like, terrorizing. Yeah, public how many bathroom? people have sat next to you at the bathroom and you're like, fucking stinks in here, doesn't it? So it turns out it was a guy that works there, which oh good makes it. Thank yeah, you. I know, right? Whew. Close one. Yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, I was just like, he told me that. And I was just well, like, oh. still, was even like, though that's to... scary, like, it doesn't even, <laughs> he's still walking around like that. It doesn't matter that he works here. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, that's true. It doesn't he, matter. How many people has he said that to? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Maybe there's how many other maybe employees it's his calling have card played, or yeah. something. It stinks, don't it? There's some stanky <sighs> shit, huh? I know. I hate that. I hate people talking in the bathroom or even, like, <laughs> talking, not even to me, just talking in general. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. Oh, my God. The other day I was at work and, uh, like, we have the same thing. We have an employee bathroom in the back, but it's, like, it's a one person. Okay. So you go and you lock the door. And it's you're, a one-seater. Yeah. Um, but, like, if I'm working at the front end, I'll just go use the front end bathroom. Right. I'm in there. I'm going pee. There's one stall and two urinals. I'm just peeing. This dude sprints in behind me. Like, oh, no. he's full, like, like booking it. shoots into the stall. And Boom. like I, not not even like a millisecond after I hear the door lock, I hear the most violent oh. waterfall of wow. shit ever. Is it Mister? Is it? Uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't TikTok the, pooper. TikTok pooper. Yeah, it was Mr. not pooper. him. Um, but and then I hear him go. He sounded like he was crying in pain. He was oh. like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, I just wash my hands. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah I, I gotta to get it right now. I thought it was so funny though. Call the friggin'. Biohazard yeah. people. Or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Call someone. Get this. I think. Did I tell that last podcast? I don't think so. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe. I keep, I was, I was I thinking about that. Like, how many stories am I going to tell like, that retail? I've told fifteen times on the podcast? Yeah. But it's all right. So I have to. I have to write them down and then delete them as I do it. Yeah. But I was talking to Emily about some. I showed her the pooper. The yeah. TikToker. I was like, all right. I'm like, you just have to watch one video. It doesn't matter which one you click. Just click <laughs> just one, one video. It doesn't matter. And then you understand the whole premise. You will know. And the worst part is this person walks around in your city. That's what she does. And she watches it. And she's like, that's disgusting. <laughs> so I was saying something a couple of days ago about, I was like, man, I'm like, do you see this TikTok where, and like, I don't have TikTok, but I have Instagram, which somehow I get like some trickle down. Oh, like, yeah. I get like. Yeah, like the meme pages post a lot of like yeah. the cringe ones. So I was like, have you seen this TikTok where? And I was like, oh, we have to find it. And she's like, I swear to God, if it's another, if it's a TikTok of someone pooping, <laughs> I'm not watching it. <laughs> I cannot handle any more poop. Okay, James. No, but uh, my other Kroger story. I actually have another one that's kind of scary, but oh, well, this one's scary too. But we were showing how to some this one newer guy. He's not like new new, but he's newer. We we're showing him how to make a bale. Yeah. Which, if anyone doesn't know what a baler is, it's a giant hydraulic press. And we put cardboard in it, so it compacts it down. It makes it into a box. So Turns a cardboard box into a bigger box. Turn a bigger box of cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, apparently, uh, one of the guys that's been there since a lifetime was talking about how <laughs> they put a new guy in the baler. <laughs> oh, my God. When it was empty. Like, so, the thing stops at a certain point. Like, it doesn't go all the way down to the floor, but it stops at a certain point. And so they knew that the guy, if he was like crouched down or whatever, he wouldn't like, it's not going to touch you, but it's still going to, it's going to look like it does. Like it's going to come down. Right. But it's going to stop at a certain point. So they threw this, apparently this is all alleged. Like there's no way of knowing if it's true, but apparently they put a guy in there, turned it on and were like hazing him to like, Jesus (laughs) Christ. That's the scariest scariest shit. I have, 
when I go near the baler, I'm scared. Of like my arm getting taken off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that shit is freaky. And they threw a man in there? Imagine putting someone in there. I would be I would need to go to like a mental hospital after that. Like I would I, be screwed I hope up. For that life. person left. Yeah. I would not like why would you continue to work there? Yeah. Like there's no way you're like, Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Good one, guys. You, you got almost me. killed me. No, I'd be like, get, the, get me the fuck out yeah. of here. I'm quitting today. I'm quitting I'm, right I'm, now. I'm calling the police. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, Dude, I'm suing you for this. <laughs> like, come it's on. It's not enough for me to just That leave. makes me nervous just hearing about that. Isn't like, that, that is so freaky. Shoot. And back in the day, they were like, well, we were just having fun. Or just, something like that. Just you know a couple I mean? boys, you know, boys, boys being, being boys. boys. Yeah. Smashing heard, each other. I heard that, and I was just like, oh, my God. I cannot imagine. Like, if you had no idea what the baler is, but, you know, right? like, you see this giant metal arm just, like, coming at you, I'd be like, "This is, really? This is it? Like, imagine yeah. your first day. You're like, all right, dude, part-time Kroger. Yeah. You're like, all right, it's not going to be too bad. We got this. We got this, you know? <laughs> done, and then just that, you're just like, it cuts to, like, hard cuts to 10 minutes later. And you're just, ah! You're just like, <sighs> like laying down in the baler, in the baler. like sweating. You're right. <sighs> like praying real quick. Like, yeah. dear Lord, forgive me. <laughs> your lights flashing. Like, Before your eyes. Yeah, exactly. Like every, like you truly think you're going to be dead. In- I cannot. Yeah, that's the worst part is like, uh, like if you had, like I keep saying, if you have no idea, like you probably think you're going to die. Yeah. And imagine getting killed at Kroger. Imagine dying Kroger. at Kroger. Kro- in Peru, Indiana, Kroger is the place you go out. Dude, no way. But, like, there's, you know, there's no way they would have to, like, how could you clean that up if it was? If it, <laughs> if it, if it, <laughs> Come on, guys. How are you going to clean that up? If it like, was really, legit, yeah, you know. didn't really think about that one, did you? Yeah. How are you going to clean that one up? You're going to cover, cover it up. That's so the anyway. scariest shit I've ever heard in my life, dude. I hate I bet, that. All right. You, I might top that. Oh, That's my another, God. Uh, dude, Kroger has been This is worse than the, seeing lights out, bro. Off the chains lately. <laughs> All right, I have to find the pictures. I wish we could uh, show them, but um, oh, okay. So there's this. I'm sorry, my mom texted me. <laughs> my mom texted me. Yeah, sorry. She sent me a picture. I gotta. She's gotta help me out with Emily Nice one year. It's in Wednesday, Wednesdays are one year. Oh. So I'm kind of last minute. Like, hey, I need you to do this thing for me real quick. There so. you go. Uh. So that's kind of where we're at. Can you take over for like a second? Yeah, just man. Talk? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can I don't you really feel know what I'm going to talk about right now. That's fine. I'm kind of feels... empty at this point. Um, let's see. Uh, I was going to tell another story, but I forget <laughs> forget what I was going to say. Um, damn. This part sucks right here. I've, I Hold was... on. I, I got it now. I'm back. Okay. Uh, that was I took over so well there, dude. That's fine. I literally just I couldn't handle if it was silence yeah, the whole time. Yeah, it freaks me out. All right, so in the back room, like in our, pr- so we have a prep room and a cooler. Mm-hmm. So like you go through, like you're on the sales floor, you go through these like saloon style doors. Yeah. And there's our prep room, which is like it's refrigerated, but that's where we like if we're cutting fruit or we can store like potatoes, tomatoes, anything that can get stored at like yeah under room temp. So we'll put all that stuff there. So there's this like green notepad, and I think it says boss or bass. Like it's B something like circular. I know yeah. those are two very or base. <laughs> there's three <laughs> options it could be. But that's uh, the scary part. Is we have no idea what it says. No, dude. Yeah. So uh, I was bored and had absolute jack to do. Yeah. And I was just like, we use these like notepads, like the legal pads, to write if we make a list of like things we need out there or something. Like mm-hmm. that's what we used to write on. But I'm like, why do we have this thing back here? Like, so I'm nosy, and I flip through it, and I regret flipping through it. Oh God. Okay, I gotta find these pictures because I sent them on to Emily. So I was like, you have to help me. Like, yeah, you know, you can look through your pictures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. The cameras has to teach me how to use my iPhone. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna show Cameron, and then I'm gonna kind of read them off. It's like that type of notepad, like spiral bound. What is this a list of? Exactly. So I need to go this way. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way. P. Sherman was found dead at Wallaby Way, in 42 Wallaby Way in Sydney. Detective, I don't even know what that says, was on the case. The only person that they could blame was Nemo because he sent, was sent to prison from, from assault. They killed Nemo and his dad was caught in something. 
his dead body was yeeted at P. Sherman. His, <laughs> I don't know. The house fell onto the dead body, and the conductor, Mr. McDonald, saw the body. He freaked out and bleached his eyes. That was just in the notepad? Out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. More lists. Black woman. Loves dinosaur train. Can't lift more than five pounds. Only eats McDonald's. Fought Nazis. Too gay to function. Ate an apple once. Has, <laughs> has nipples like a nursing dog. Eats dog skin. Great hair flips. Best at saxophone. Most suicidal person on earth. Humps everything he sees. Even though it's this black woman. So maybe that's a different person. Removes ticks with his teeth. So that sounds like a dog, right? Yeah. But except for the best at saxophone thing. Dogs yeah. aren't really known for being the yeah, best I don't at think saxophone. dogs can use saxophones. Another, like more lists of just names. Oh my God. Jeff, literally <laughs> 5 million years old. Fat <laughs> troll. Eats dog eyes. Gained 350 pounds straight up from Texas Roadhouse Rolls. Actually, that's not the worst way to gain nah, that dude, much No, dude, I would do that. I'd the cinnamon okay butter? That. Holy shit. Oh my God. Hardcore Satanist. Crying in his bed, he didn't thought he didn't thought I could beat. I didn't wait. Hold on. Why? Crying in his bed, he thought oh, I yeah, didn't I did beat, beat coronavirus to feel rejected. This I'm was going recent. To, exactly. That's what I thought. I'm oh like, shit! I thought this was like an old notebook that you found. You're like, what is this? Right. And so to finish it, it says I didn't feel rejected. I'm going to kill myself, and so sh- he did. And I'm like, oh my god. What the hell is this? Dude? Exactly. The fact that it said coronavirus means yeah. it, like I'm like someone's updated In the last this couple weeks, bro. Yes. What is that? There's Bible verses in the front. And the the, like, the handwriting is so bad. It gets but like see this one is really that looks like That's really different. nice. Yeah. But yeah, the one about the poem. So it's more about, than one person. I'm like that looks terrible. Like that's god awful. It's chicken scratch right there. Yeah, it's just brother lover. Great turkey calls. <laughs> Stick. Stick. Eats eats bars, bars of, of soap, soap for, for fun. fun. Dated Donald Trump in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> See the handwriting's different here. What the hell, James? There's some Oh, noodles. noodles. Nice. Yeah, I found that and I'm like uh, there's a serial killer in our midst. Dude, I would send that to the manager, bro. I'd be like, yeah, we need to figure out what's happening here. <laughs> well, I wanted to put on my detective hat. Okay. So I was like... Like a right. little P.I.? Yeah. Private I eye? A little, little pie. Little, little pie, pie. Little, little pie, pie boy. boy. I like that. Little so, Sherlock Holmes, private <laughs> investigator, bro. So I... I was like, okay. There was at the front... Like, I didn't take pictures of everything, because there's a lot. And I didn't want to film my camera roll of that. <laughs> in case yeah. the FBI come knocking or something. <laughs> yeah. But, With um, your fingerprints on it? All over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I've soiled that evidence. Yeah. Um, So, I there was, like, dates and times in the beginning, like, of the early pages. But it's, like, band practice or brand, band uh, concert, jazz concert. Like, all these dates that they were going to. So, I was like, okay. It would be impossible for me to, like, to know who's going through there. Mm-hmm. So... Anyway, I was, like, talking to Emily. I'm like, what do I do? Like, do I take it home and just, like, study it on my own time? <laughs> and she's like, no, you should definitely leave it there. <laughs> so my mind was like, dude, I'll just leave a cryptic message back yes. and see if someone responds. No, because then I'm like, dude, now you my, I should have. But so I kind of I learned what happened. So I talked to Andrew because hand, his handwriting is terrible. Like yeah. his, the Andrew I mentioned earlier, same Andrew. I was like, hey, do you know about this? This looks like something you do. And it says yeeted, and that's kind of like a younger, you know, yeah, younger yeah, person. Yeah. So I'm like, this kind of looks, hey, buddy, hope you're not a serial hey, killer, man, but hey. you, know, you kind of have some explaining to do yeah, here. Yeah, catching some vibes off of this <laughs> one. <laughs> and uh, so he's like, oh, you found about that? He's like, Lindsay, who's our manager, wanted to toss it, but I told her just keep it because it's, for, you know, just for fun. Yeah. So he said him and another guy found it in the on the floor. So, like, a customer has dropped that. Like, with that in it? Yeah. Like, the notebook? Like, Jesus. he's like, we haven't done anything to it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I guess that makes it a little better that it's not anybody that works at Kroger. 
I, well, I was like, best case scenario, this is a joke. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're writing some weird code poetry or something. That's very Worst case extremely scenario, coded. This is literally, this is the work of, this is like a manifesto of a a killer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, you find this that. literally the stuff of like, that you would see on a Netflix documentary about psychopaths. So I'm like. We found this notebook. In a, in a local grocery store. Local. In a local grocery store where <laughs> this notebook was found. So, yeah, so I'm now I'm like, I don't have any idea what to do with this knowledge, but it freaks me out. Dude, I don't like that. That I opened it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Satanist book. You've seen it? Like, now, like, someone's going to follow you oh, around? Oh, yeah. Like your Somehow eyes. Somehow they know. Yeah, your eyes yeah. have laid like, on You've it. seen too much. You've seen too much, James. It's getting closer to our <laughs> plan. <laughs> He's going to find out. <laughs> He's found a clue. Yeah, he knows us, about us. Steve up in there looking for Blue's Clues. Oh, my God. And I found... <laughs> imagine... I don't know why, but, like, imagine Blue's Clues, like, we found a dead body. Like, it just turns really dark all of a sudden. <laughs> it, do you see the dead body? Is it to the left or to the right? Ah, to the right. Good. Good guess. Good guess. How do you think he died, children? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to turn this one off for today. We're not going to put that one on the yeah, DVR. We're going to switch to uh, Thomas the Train, kids. <laughs> yeah. No more Blue's Clues for no today. No more Blue's. <laughs> That'd be cool though if Blue like grew up and it's like detective. Yeah, they like, should smoking do that. like just c- hardcore like cigarette with like the one liners like. Guess got a bad case of the flu. I don't know, <laughs> like that. Got a bad case of the flu. He died in a plane accident, yeah. so it's like a pun on flu. And <laughs> <laughs> you could say yeah, it's just actually <laughs> him smoking. It's just like smoking ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just quick cuts of him <laughs> sucking on that cig. You'd say his day turned out kind of blue. <sighs> wow! wow. Oh, dan, dan, dan. <laughs> just cred- <laughs> credits roll. <laughs> There's like, dun, 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 dun. like I don't know, just like really like happy go lucky <laughs> oh, music. Yeah. I was like, I tried <laughs> to do like a Simpsons or like Futurama kind of thing. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dun, dun. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so we might have an actual mystery to There's solve. There's a killer on the loose, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, in conclusion, there, everyone watch your back. <laughs> you find any cryptic notes, just make sure you uh, keep one eye open. <laughs> just a PSA, <there's laughs> there might be a killer on the loose. Oh, my God. You know. No big deal. Well, <laughs> well, I think that's a perfect way to wrap up this podcast. I can't think of a better yeah. way. All right. Just a congratulations to Austin, Austin. Hirschberger. Good job, Austin. 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 Um, <laughs> uh, I'll be in touch. James and I will be in touch. We'll be in touch. Um, so we can just figure out how you want to get these socks. We can drop them off. We can send them to you. You don't want to know us. You don't want us to know your location. I uh, don't really want you to know my location. We'll do it a drop. Like, we'll do, like, a drug deal drop. Yeah. Or we'll put it under a trash can or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll put it, like, under a tree or something, and then under I'll write, tree. like, yeah, <laughs> like, 50 <laughs> paces to the left. Tree. Like, I'll write, like, a whole big, right. like, search paper. A search paper? I'm, am I stupid? Search paper? Am a I riddle? stupid? <laughs> yeah. Riddle? I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like, uh, a treasure map. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get at. She snapped at me. Dude. A search paper. Search yeah, I'm paper. snapping at you, James. <laughs> you mofo. You didn't help me out there. You just left me hanging. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Riddle. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's like a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. There it is. Yeah. God. Treasure Lee. chest. Treasure chest, scavenger hunt, search paper. A map. We should draw a map. <laughs> just <sighs> drop that off. That one was tough to get out. So, yeah. Uh, congrats on the socks. We love you guys. See ya. Uh, Don't keep listening. Keep sending. Uh, keep asking us questions. Keep sending us cryptic notes that James will find at Kroger. Please stop sending <laughs> <just> cryptic <laughs> notes. <laughs> Actually, I would really appreciate it. Please don't quitting. kill anyone. Yeah. And please we, don't be killed. Guys, yeah, <laughs> just start like writing weird notes and leaving them on the ground in the produce section. Leave them under like an orange or something. And when James finds it. I'll be tormented. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. There's like a whole cult. Coming after me. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to, like, make you go insane. <laughs> just drive that man to the brink of insanity. <laughs> At Kroger. <laughs> He's a, you're going to jump in the bale yourself after oh, that, yeah. dude. <laughs> Take me out. <laughs> do it. I want you to do it. Take off the stop. Take off the brakes on it. Let's go. I want it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, see you guys later. Next podcast. Talk to you guys later. We won't see you. 
Um, well, you'll hear us later. <laughs> yeah, you'll hear us later. <laughs> That's a great way. We should just end every podcast. You'll hear us later. You'll hear us. You'll hear from us. You'll later. hear from us later. Okay. Right. Bye, Bye, guys.